I'm going to talk about this this uh, game that is called Can't Touch This, and it was made. Um, it's here. This is loading now. Oh, it's very slow. Okay. Uh, well, but uh, yeah, and uh, it's a game that I made together with Sabina, who's sitting there, and uh, Andrea Hesselea and Raymond Schumacher in a game jam uh, in Denmark. It is inspired by T. Corinne's uh, work of her cunt coloring book uh, from 75. Um, yeah, uh, I would like to give you a demonstration of the game. How many? Have, I mean, it was shown at a maze this spring, so maybe some of you have already already know about it. Um, but um, Mm, no. <laughs> well, okay. Well, we can wait a bit. Um, yeah, I can say that I started last night, I started um, making this presentation and I got a bit ambitious, so maybe it's a bit long. Um, <laughs> but um, I can... I can start talking about the context of of uh, of how of how of of contact on contact this actually. Um, so, as women and as as people passing as women, that is that we are being perceived as and being treated as women. Uh, working with games, we have experienced uh, quite a considered amount of uh, both sexism and misogyny. So for my own sake, for example, I have been hacked, I have, my digital data has been stolen, uh, has been misused, social media accounts has been deleted, porn for profiles have been created in my name, my, with my image, my contact information. Uh, fake data has been produced to give to authorities so they could find me and question me. I have worked with men who, and colleagues who have confessed that they had one goal, but to break me down or to make me suffer because I was a strong woman. And the last year, I think we have uh, seen that these experiences are not unusual. Um, uh, in addition, we are also dealing with, um, with a constant flow of unintentional attacks, microaggressions, uh, creating a generally hostile and often harmful culture towards our participation. So such experiences are considered normal, or at least we are, expected, we are told that these are expected if you are a woman or a person passing as a woman making games. So I will give you a short demonstration of the game. Um, it's here. It is called Contact This, and it's not really big enough for the screen. Oh, it's too big for the screen. Usually you play it on a, on a touch screen, um, but we made a browser version for accessibility. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Um, so I think it works okay. You can choose your color down here. It's a, it's a, it's a coloring game, right? So you choose your color, and then you can... You can paint, and you can make different kinds of strokes. You can make really nice strokes like I'm doing now, or you can make like more graffiti kind of, kind of rough style. Uh, it has one sound effect, which you hear, ooh, uh, right around here where there is a particular sensitive area. Uh, if you want to spend a lot of time making a beautiful drawings, you have to kind of, you know, be careful about not being too close to the sensitive spot. Or if you want to get, just get to the end, you, you might just like, you know, go here. Hello. Until at some point you, you will come to a slow-mo explosion. I think it's happening. Oh, we can change color. <gasps> okay. And you get to a screen that says, thank you, it was a pleasure. And you can choose between 40 more cons that you can uh, do another, have another go. Um, yeah, so you're, you're welcome to play afterwards. Sabina has a tablet uh, that you can play on. So, yeah, so uh, Stefano asked us to, to focus in on one design decision. Um, 
Um, wait a minute. <laughs> um, so, so I want to focus on the the design decision around care, and that is that we uh, turning our attention towards each other and um, towards our own um, our own kind of agency, our own passion, humor, health, and that's both social, uh, mental, and artistic health. Um, as minorities involved in game making, we are often faced uh, or have no choice but to let the harm of these communities occupy, occupy both our emotions, time, energy, and full attention. That includes but it's not limited to concerns and work involved in developing strategies prevent, pre for prevention and protection. And it includes finding ways of keeping out the common opinion and common sense that has proven to be not useful or far from useful from, for us. So from this position, we also often ask ourselves, how do we get any work done? So although Contots, this is a is a case where we actually managed to get things done. I don't want to trivialize the, the importance of that question because getting anything done can be a real struggle and is sometimes really not possible from this position. Um, but when we made contacts, this, we, we, we didn't intend for a provocation or an embarrassment or, or satire. So, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, we didn't intend to make anything provocative. We actually wanted to make something nice, a meditative experience, a situation for appreciation, wonder, and pleasure in the spirit of T. Corinne's work. So while we developed the work or, or the game, a particular kind of humor emerged. Um, so as the program of the team, I started working with the, the fun, um, of programming the fun of putting, coming up with names for uh, variables and uh, functions to play with the strange formalization of pleasure that was happening in this case. And the rest of the team, in particular maybe Sabine, was playing around with puns and jokes, some which ended up in the, in the, ga in the name and the instructions and the menu of the game. So, <clears throat> so while we were making this, this game, we, had, we created a bubble. Uh, around us, um, which was that we turned our attention towards each other in, and, and kept out, uh, we managed to keep our attention away from, from the rest of the game jam, the rest of the game community culture. Uh, the first clash with the outside world happened at the award ceremony, where Contatsis got the award of the least slash most feminist game, which caused debate, yelling, anger, and even tears. The rest of the drama went on throughout the night where people were aggressively approaching us for hostile and um, uh, non-consensual conversations around feminism. So discussion, the, the decision of, of caring for ourselves, our health and our health uh, resulted in a game that's simple, rough and aesthetic and, uh, and ha has multiple layers of bugs. It's, it's like my first <laughs> uh, programming experience, so it's very buggy. Um, but it also started a process of creating a different culture, a space where things had different meanings, norms for what was fun, pleasurable, good enough, worth laughing at, or worth sharing, changed between the four of, changed between the four of us and those who gathered around us. So the reason that I wanted to focus on this may be a bit more ephemeral decision around uh, caring and not a particular design decision, is that this, it was this decision that created a different culture, a different space that allowed contests to be possible. So, okay, so apart from, obviously I'm making a call for attention to care, both in, in game development communities, but also in, um, in ac academia and uh, uh, philosophy around game making. Um, I'm also showing, I hope, a particular relationship between making and uh, words or writing. We, and this is a relationship that where I'm applying uh, methods and questions for social 
science. Um, and that's a, that's a typical uh, question of how do you um, find strategies for gaining agency from a marginalized position. Uh, I don't want to like, pretend that this is the only relationship there is between making and research, but this is a demonstration of, of one of them. And um, in my PhD work, that's, a, that's a, a topic that I'm engaging a lot with, and I'm making different, different like, cases for this relationship. 